next guest is a talented actor who plays the charming and intelligent detective Kevin Ryan on the popular ABC show Castle. Take a look. Water, lime juice, no solid food. Jenny and I are going to start our marriage perfectly cleansed. We've already made it a week. We only have three days to go. I can't even believe you guys are already getting married on Sunday. I know. Isn't that crazy? I better run. My mom is freaking out about place cards. See you there. Thanks, sweetie. I love you. I love you more. Oh, it's not possible. Oh, please welcome <laughs> Seamus Dever. You're on hi hiatus right now. Yes. And you're in Chicago. Yeah. How are you enjoying your time? Uh, Chicago. It's great. What, what can be said about Chicago that hasn't been said many times before? It's a toddling town. <laughs> uh, a toddling on, town. We'll take on, that. On State Street, that great street, I just want to say. Yeah. <laughs> they'll do things they'll never do on Broadway. <laughs> so, so true. And we just learned from Lisa Ling, there's a lot of drinking in this town. So that's good, too. Right. It's all good. works. It all works. Yeah. So, all right. So, Castle, I, I got to ask this question because I'm a big fan of the show. And it, there was that that season cliffhanger kiss kind of thing yeah. where we're finally oh, we getting spoiler alert spoiler alert we're I'm finally sorry. getting I, yeah for those of you very DVR did people get very upset about those sorts of things I know I did we're this just going to assume everyone's caught up yeah <laughs> but you know you've had the <gasps> sexual tension you know and now all of a sudden the sexual tension is released in this kiss and and are they what, are they going to get together are they not going to get together what do you know um. <laughs> I think he just came out the box, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the finger is pointed straight at me about uh, answering everything. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, um, from what I heard, that's one of the most rewindable moments in, in DVR oh. for this season finale. People are like, what was it? What happened? Did they get together? No, it was kind of sort of dark. Things happened really quickly. What did he say? Did he say? Did, did she say that? Did she say, I want you? Did she say that? And so, like, it's been one of those things. Um, I can confirm that they did kiss. Mm -hmm. um, it was a closed set, and that scene took a while, and it always oh. happens like that. Oh, yeah. Make out scenes and like action scenes always seem to take hours more than you think that they would. They're like, they just kissed, right? We just did it once. No, no. no. Hours. Practice. Yeah. Practice. Practice. Yeah, hours. You know, because yeah, you know, there's that moonlighting curse, you know, where the, where the, the, the two leads get together and then you're nice. not sure what to do with it. Yeah, we're, we're in brave new, a brave new world here. This is sort of unventured territory where we're hoping that we haven't jumped the shark, as they would say, right? Um, the idea that, that our lead characters uh, got together. Are we going to have jobs next season? <laughs> That's what it all boils down no, to. No, it? no, like, no. They've got, they've got to get together. Then there's got to be some more drama in exactly. their relationship. I, I mean, mean, like, two very strong personalities. Are they ever going to be happily ever after? I don't know. You well, tell me. What about you and Detective Esposito? You guys um, are good friends on and off the yeah. scene. But in this season, there was a little rift. A little breakup. Yeah. yeah there was and a your little, romance. People were very, it was funny because the end of the, the, the season finale was, was that one couple got together and one couple sort of split up, if you will. So, um, yeah, a lot of people were very concerned that Esposito and Ryan are going to be uh, are going to get back together. Um, and and I, I spoke to my series creator yesterday. I tried to get some information out of him. Oh, you but got he's, something to get. I didn't get anything. Nothing. I don't know anything about All right, what I'm doing. Just say, he's an actor. No, yeah, he's, he's an actor. actor. This guy, we, this, let's end this line of questioning. We're not getting anywhere with this. Uh, you're a karaoke fan. Yes. Yes, um, it, it's something about when the time period that I moved to Hollywood, all like young Hollywood at that time was into karaoke. So I used to hang out at some crazy bars and uh, do lots of karaoke. So And there's rules for karaoke. I sort of established these things after sort of dying on stage <laughs> in karaoke. One, do not choose a song that's like seven minutes long. Stairway okay. to Heaven. Yeah, bad right. idea. Stairway to Heaven, bad long idea. Time You're okay. stranded out there. Right. You're like on a desert island. And then there's, and then two, Think ahead. Do not choose something that has a musical interlude in it. Because <laughs> then oh. there's a lot of this. What do you do? It's yeah. sort of awkward. You're like, yeah. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Well, wait, yeah. the music yeah. runs Tip in your, your family. Server. Yeah. Music runs in your family because your your cousin yeah. is First Feist. Cousin. Yeah, Leslie. Leslie Feist. Yeah. A lot of people just, it's funny. The one, two, three, four. Feist, is, exactly. Um, she, she had a big hit a couple years ago with that, and she's just great. Her new album is wonderful, and she's winning all sorts of awards and everything. Um, yeah, I it's, it's one of those things that you... Uh, you grow up with a name, and it's just, it was just a name in my family, Feist. 
and uh, like all my cousins were, uh, were were named Feist, and I was all these Feist around me. And then one day you see it everywhere, and <laughs> Feist, you're like, this was just a name that only I knew how to spell. Well, since music runs <laughs> in your family, you can sing. Then you can yes, carry a I note. can sing. I I am um, I started doing that. It's funny because my partner um, my partner John Huertas on the show. Yeah. Um, we we end up singing a lot of duets together. We have that on YouTube. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> That's you two jamming it out there. In our in my. So yeah, uh, yeah. This, this beat right here, you know, he's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we end up singing a lot um, together. We did a duet for a UNICEF benefit. Um, we did a duet of Regulate by Warren G and Nate Dogg. <gasps> John loves me rapping. Because he, really? I, for some reason, I, I see, I grew up in Arizona. Uh -huh. And I was like the only white kid who owned like Public Enemy albums. Oh, wow. And, like, so, yeah. I, I know how to rap and I know a lot of rap history and things like that. So John loves watching me rap. So it, it was John's idea to do the singing part of Regulate. And I, and I did <laughs> and the rap part. part. Yeah, I check it out. It's on, it's on YouTube. Check do, it out. So. Can you do a little bit of rap right now? Um, I can do help a, you if you need me. It was a clear black night. A clear white moon. Seamus D was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the Eve. Nate so off. I can get some funk just rolling in my ride. Chilling all along. <laughs> Seriously, if I knew the words, I'd rap with you, but you I can do the, do the beat. Part. We'll, we'll work it out. And you come I know. Out we'll do it on the commercial break. But I wanted to ask you real quick. Yeah. You work with your wife. Yeah, that And your clip wife you was saw. your girlfriend on the show, but yeah. your real-life wife. How cool is that? Yeah, my wife and I, we've been together for 10 years. We got married uh, six years ago. Um, it's funny because there there's an episode that has to do with uh, the wedding ring um, and it all being taken off. The best part about being married on television is that I no longer have to take out my wedding ring. I can actually wear my real all wedding ring. We've oh. got duplicates and triplicates. Oh, that's nice. The prop department bought them, and there was this whole uh, great episode where, where es Esposito ends up wearing my ring and things like that. But yeah, my wife, Juliana, um, we've been together for six years now. She played my girlfriend. It was one of those things that a very talented actress, and, and the producers loved her, like and they loved our chemistry, and they wanted her on the show. So, so when it came around, everything was perfect, and that's we got awesome. married on the show. And hopefully that's we'll be seeing some more of her in the future. Of course. That's awesome. All right. Absolutely. For more information on Castle and links to full episodes, be sure to visit our website. Coming up next, Father's Day, a few days away, and we've got gifts for the old man. Yeah.